Good morning. My line looks so perfect already. Face forward for me, hands to your side. Face forward for me, hands to your side, zero voice. Face forward for me, hands to your side, zero voice. Thank you, grab the line, awesome. Wow, look at this. Hands to your side, facing forward. Good morning, Kiana. Welcome. All right, my friends, are we ready to go? Yes. yes. All right, we're gonna walk to the end of the ramp, my friends, if you left your bag pack on the side of the So as opposed right to getting started right away with Just standards, it, okay? establish the we're culture that's going to happen right, in your classroom throughout the year. It allows students to feel Welcome. comfortable and also get them Good to morning. understand what you expect Good of them morning. and then get to know how the classroom Good works. Morning. Welcome. Look at that smile. Good morning. At the beginning of the day, I always stand at the door and I greet students with either a high five, a fist bump, a handshake, or a hug towards the end of the school year. Morning, I just like to step, set my day off right with a positive Welcome. tone. Who doesn't want Welcome. to have a nice smiling Welcome. face Good when they morning. come in Good for work, morning. basically? Good. This is their, their job you can consider. So when they come in, I like them to feel like I want them here, that I've been waiting for them to get here. And I believe that when you start your day off like that, you're setting them up for a positive day. Right now, we're going to get your desk organized first, OK? So go ahead and take your binder off and you can put it down next to your table, or next to your seat. Just quickly on the floor is fine. You can check it out while you do so. In your desk, you're going to have two sides, a right side and a left side. And one side is going to be for your soft books. And the other side will be for your hard books. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find your left hand. It's important to invest a lot of time in your routines at the beginning of the year because that's when you have the most time to establish them. So I start at the beginning and I spend a lot of time on my routines, my expectations, doing things, doing things again, and even doing things again. And as the time goes throughout the school year, I have to spend less and less time and those things become second nature to the students. And you're going to put your My World Social Studies book on the left hand side of your desk. And it goes in this way, not this way. So when I look in your desk, I should see pages, not spine, okay? Go ahead and do that now. So the procedure for their desk organization is really simple. All their books that are paperbacked books, I like on one side of their desk, and then their hardback books are on the other side of the desk. That way, when I ask students for a particular book, they can look in their desk, they know what side it's on, and they can get it easily. I want students to be able to access what they need very quickly. Transitions are very important, and they can take a lot of time if they're not established at the beginning. So I try to alleviate any hurdles from students that might cause my transitions to run long. And not being able to find something or something not being in its proper place is something that makes a transition very difficult. Using the restroom during your recess, using the restroom during your lunch, is you showing me and everyone else around you that you are responsible. However, I do understand that things happen, right? Sometimes things happen if you're in class and you have to go, you have to go. And so when that happens, you put one finger, just one, in the air, and then you wait for a nonverbal cue for me to tell you to go to the restroom. And it'll usually look like this. You put your finger up, I'll point at you, and then I'll point at the door. And that means that you may go, okay? Now, show me the restroom sign. Thank you. Notice that there is no Miss Martin with it. It's not Mrs. Martin. That nonverbal signal is something that I can do while I continue to teach. So if I see a pencil hanging in the air, I can just go like this and continue talking. The same with going to the restroom or going to water so it doesn't interrupt the flow of the lessons. I am going to teach you how to come from your seat to the carpet to meet with me, okay? So in order to do that, 
we need to be able to know exactly where we're going and exactly how we're supposed to get there, okay? So we're gonna take some time and I'm gonna show you exactly where I want you to sit and how I want you to get there quickly, okay? So for my ELA transition, I start with students' numbers, usually alphabetical at first, and then I give them an exact spot to sit on at the carpet. And then I explain to them exactly what I want them to do. When you hear your number or your name, I want you to get up, push your chair in, and come to this particular seat. Sarah, Adam, and Kaden, come. It's important to make sure that students are following your expectations. Sarah? on the first day of school, on the first week of school, because if students know exactly what it is you want them to do, or in this instance, exactly where it is you want them to sit, then they can rely on that, and that makes your transition so much faster, and then you can get to things like your lesson much quicker. No, honey, sit right next to her. Scoot up right next to her. Scoot up right next to During her. that ELA transition, I had them practice it over and over again because I want for them to know exactly where they sit so that they can get there quickly. Please join me on the carpet. It took us one minute and eight seconds, which is not too bad. Okay, as we continue to go throughout the school year, we are going to be looking to chop down just a little bit second by second at that time, okay? But look it, everybody remembers where they're supposed to go. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was very good for the first time. Think about where your spot is because I'm going to set the timer. Remember it took us one minute, eight seconds yesterday. Let's see if we can shave a little bit of time off of that today. Go. <laughs> 56 seconds. Good job, my friends. Excellent work. All right, my friends. So, Brennan, there is... Kids pick up on things, your attitude, your behavior. So you want to be very cautious of those things at the beginning of the school year because students are looking at every piece of you as a teacher and they're also looking at every piece of piece of your classroom. So you want to make sure that you're warm, you want to make sure that your classroom is inviting, that they can see themselves as part of this classroom, and that they know that you want them to be there, and that this is a safe place for them to be throughout the school day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two of fourth grade. How are you feeling? Good. Did you go home yesterday completely exhausted? I was so tired yesterday, and guess what? My legs were super sore. I, your, yours were too? My legs were so So now that we've wrapped up the first week of school, I am just scratching the surface of working on routines and procedures. It's something I will carry with us the entire school year. At the beginning of the year is not when you stop working on routines and procedures. And every time you introduce something new to students, you need to establish a routine and a procedure for what it is that you're introducing. It's a signal to me that you need help on directions just a little bit 